right, so today is an exciting day again. Um, like I said before in my last video, I am going to make a new start, like a second start for this year. Uh, there is still a plan that I wasn't thinking about before for another start, but that will be happening a little bit later. Um, I don't know how late, how much later, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I've decided that this year we'll have two new starts and one optional because uh, there's like a secret something that I'm going on in my head. But uh, so you probably have seen this. This is Lucas. This was my plan from before I decided to make the survey in my last video. But I was planning on starting this one. This is Lucas, like I said. This is Venice. And you have all the details for this kit. I haven't opened this kit myself yet, so I have no idea how everything looks like inside. But Lucas has started making these kits that come in a cardboard box, which is pretty interesting. It's really neat. I like the way it's packaged. You have this seal in the back. Where is it? There it is, you can see that I haven't opened it yet. And we will be doing this in this video. And we have all the details and the, you know, the design over here, like in a bright, beautiful colored print. I am so excited about this one. This is not a small project. I think it will take some time because um, it is also stitched from a, you know, paper chart, which I usually don't, you know, do I, most of my projects, like the bigger ones, are on my digital programs like my Cross Stitch Saga or Pattern Keeper, whatever. But I don't have this design in a digital form. Uh, I wish I had like a PDF for it. If you know where to get it, I would love to know. But um, maybe it would be a nice change to stitch another project from paper. I will be really interested in seeing this design like. Um, how it is looking on a paper chart. I wonder if it's not a too difficult one, but it is five hearts of difficulty, which is the hardest level they have. This is a new kit. This is made um, on 2022 and uh, by the way, made in Moldova. Moldova. I guess uh, Lucas is a Moldavian uh, company. I was born in Moldova. I was born in Kishinev, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think it's actually in Kishinev. I think it's from my birth city. So Lucas, if you're watching this video, hey. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's let's just open this. I am dying of you know to see what's inside. I am so excited about this design. It's so beautiful. Look at this. How many beautiful details. There's restaurants over here. People are walking around. Uh, little birdies like little carts with flowers people are watching watching <laughs> sitting in the restaurants you have backstitch writing over here which is going to be interesting um by the way this comes off this is just the paper um look what we have here we have some crosses over here which is weird because i'm jewish but anyways i don't mind um Anyways, a lot of people with hats, gondolas, you guys, this is beautiful. We have a white dove, I guess, or no, what it is, is are these seagulls? Maybe these are seagulls. Anyways, I love this design. Let's just see what's inside of this one. So, we are opening, are you excited as me? So, it's the first time I'm opening this. Hopefully, I'm not going to ruin this. And, ta-da, listen. I hope this is in focus. Come on, come on. Okay, so we have opened this. I'm going to fold this over here so it won't bother us again. Okay, so let's just open this thing and see what's inside. So the first thing we can see are the organizers. Look at these. I actually love these uh, organizers slash bobbins, I guess. Uh, we also have this thing. I'll open this a little later, but it contains uh, two two needles, I guess, and a needle 
uh, threader, which is nice. Now, the organizers come in these elongated bobbins, which are really actually comfortable to use. They give you these um, organizers along with the colors. So you have, not the colors, the symbols. So you have the symbols, you have like a little era, era, error <laughs> that shows you which color you are using. So this is beautiful. Like, look, the symbols are really well printed. You have the number of the organizer over here, down here. So this is a number of the organizer. I'm hoping that my camera doesn't uh, come out of focus because I don't really see what I'm showing right now. So down here we have the number of the organizer. Am I in focus? Tell me. Okay, I hope that I am because I don't want to re-film this video. <laughs> Anyways, let's just check out the colors. Okay, so let's go through the colors. Look at these. I guess these colors don't figure, you know, a, like too much in this design because there's not a lot of them. But I absolutely love them. Look at these colors, they're so beautiful. I hope that you can see. A lot of like, they're not really bright. I mean, mostly they're kind of dim, but they're, it feels like there's one of each color. Blues, golds, greens, reds, purples. No, no purples, but grays. These are a little more muted. Yes, these are going into the sky, water. You guys, I love them. A lot of browns. There's a full organizer with browns. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. So this is this one is a little heavier because look, there's a little more of each color. So these are browns, blacks, dark greens, like you know, beautiful colors. Yes. Okay, let's go move on. So this is the fabric that we are going to use. Too bad that Lucas don't, um, you know, don't stitch around the fabric so it won't get ruined. Maybe that's something that I'm going to do now. I'm going to just uh, stitch around. So this is the fabric. This is a 16 count Aida and... You can see how smooth and beautiful it is. Can you? You can. Um, yeah, so this is the fabric. Nothing new about this one. Uh, let's open this one before we go to our chart. Let's open this little envelope. Oh, just almost ruined it. So, like I said, they give you two needles and a needle minder. Not a needle minder, <laughs> needle threader. So this is what we have. Like I said, hope that I'm not out of focus. Hope that I am in focus. So we're going to put this back in this little envelope. I have ruined it, but look at this. This is cute. Okay, and to one of the more interesting stuff in this kit, which is the chart. Okay, so let me just put this aside. So, chart wise, I'm not going to show you the entire chart, but let's just open around over here. So, this is a chart, it's black and white, it's on um, matte paper. I mean, it's not really matte, but it is um, not glossy, so you can paint on it. It has how many pages does it have? We have 10 pages. Oh, there's, there you go. I actually opened on the page count so we have 10 pages which is great the print is perfect look at this print look at this print I mean can you want anything more it's perfectly printed beautifully nothing is uh, you know <laughs> smudged beautiful print I'm excited about this one we of course have our pages with um, our instructions and we have the key look at 
this we have a key over here uh, I need to figure out what it is all about so there is like oh they tell us the amount of strands it's usually two strands this is probably a back stitch so it is going to be with one strand or two um, you know full access uh, na, 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 na. yeah this is back stitch over here do we have blends over here I think we do have blends no this is back stitch we don't have blends in this project all right so uh, let's see this is a symbol colors as uh, shown on the chart uh, thread hold oh so this is what you have on the thread organizer and this is what you have on the chart it's basically the same thing they just give you like the back stitch I guess is shown like this can you see it like with uh, small symbols where I'm going to look at this on the chart so uh, what is this let's see what this is focus am I in focus no I don't think so this is not focused come on focus you don't want to focus there you go. Uh, okay, so uh, this is 61 colors, 16 count Ada stitches. How much stitches? 367 stitches wide and 190 stitches high. So altogether we have 58 by 30 centimeters. We have um, cross, like a full cross with two strands. And we have half cross, uh, half cross stitch into um strands we have one strand uh, back stitch and we have two strands back, back stitch which is great so this is the organizer and the organizer the key page also we have the instructions over here so we can uh, learn how to stitch which i don't know i don't think i'm going to use this because i have my own way of stitching and this is about it so what can i say this is so exciting. I'm not, I'm just going to cover it. So, uh, yeah, this was shortly about opening this kit. I am excited about this one. Hopefully you are too. So today I'm going to start this one. I think that right now what I'm going to do while Marquis is asleep, I'm just going to stitch around the edges so they won't split on me and won't break. And then maybe tonight, not maybe for sure, tonight we are going to start this new design. Yay, exciting. Okay, so follow up and I will show the start to you in a few seconds. Oh, by the way, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use Q-snaps for stitching this, at least for now. I don't have, I don't think I have another frame. No, I don't have another frame. No, I thought that I had another frame from um, Nergi, the, um, the square ones, but I don't have another one free left. So maybe I need to order a couple more of the frames. Uh, not now. Not really important, but I'm going to use these Q-snaps for this project. I love Q-snaps. I actually um, did this little thing around the edges so the fabric will hold better. I It did help on another project that I was doing, so it's kind of, you know, kind of rubbery, so the fabric is supposed to catch pretty well on that one. Okay, so let's go get our fabric ready, and then we'll start stitching this thing. Oh, by the way, my video for next week is rendering. Great. Uh, so last week, it's going to go, go up on my channel. Okay, anyways, see, see, see each other. We'll see each other in a couple of seconds. All right, so tonight is... It is... Tonight is actually Sunday night, so um, it's the 26th. It hasn't been a long time since my last update, but you can already see what I have here. I think that I have progressed this a little bit. Now, I don't have a lot of time to stitch it, even though, I, you know what? I think that maybe I'll keep stitching a little bit more tonight. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But I think that I can already tell how this is going to go. Now, I will show you this little part of the chart that I have been doing. 
Um, I am, I, you can see that I have um, lined my fabric. I haven't done that for a while, but I thought that with this project, with something with 61 colors or 64, I don't remember, but um, this kind of project, especially that I'm going to be stitching it from a paper chart, it's going to be easier to count if I have these, you know, lines. So what I've used is this. This is the pan that I used. I actually have a couple of them, water erasable pans from Caring. I think, I don't know, it's a Japanese company or a Chinese company. I have no idea. Um, you can see what they tell you here that you should do. What is this? you should test it on fabric before you use it. Now, I've already used these types of pans before. Um, they actually disappear with time. You don't even need to wash them. But, uh, considering that this is a full coverage, I don't think, even if they won't disappear, it will be that noticeable. Especially that the coverage is pretty good. This is a 16 count. I don't really like 16 count. Um, but, um, I prefer... 18 count but I think that the coverage is very very good by the way these areas um, you can see the fabric through them but if you look at them um, in reality you cannot see that so you can see that just a tiny little bit but not as much as you can see on camera let's do a little close-up on my crosses is it is it, is it tasty <laughs> Okay, so, yeah. Anyways, I think that I'll, you know, I'll make a good progress during this week. Now, what I'm doing here is kind of going around, you know, because uh, a lot of browns, different, different colors of browns. I can show you the organizers in a second, but a lot of browns, you can tell over here. Um, you can see the difference if you look from a side, but once you're, once you're stitching it, it's kind of difficult to tell them apart that much unless you have a really good lighting so it's it can be a little annoying to stitch with the same color all the time so what I've done is kind of gone over this area which has a lot of browns and then I went around this area and around this area and that gives me a little spread of colors now if you look at this and let me take out the what's wrong with my focus this is the key take out the where is the photo there it is take this out you'll be able to tell where I am on the chart right now so basically what I've been stitching tonight is this area so this is this you can see you definitely can see the you know similarities now I have already stitched around this area and this is the water now up until the point where I'll get over here I will be stitching with a lot of browns so I kind of I came along to this this area so I have a long long way to go because this is not a small project but I am having fun I don't know it may, I know actually I know it's because it's new but <laughs> I still am having fun now let me show you one of the organizers and what's going on with them now this is the organizer that comes in the kit look a lot of browns a lot of browns there's actually browns on the other one and browns on another one I mean a lot of browns but what I wanted to show you which was pretty interesting that I haven't noticed before on these organizers I don't know if it's like this in all the kits but what they do is give you this little punch hole on the other side and you can hang your threads over here I am sure that this is what they are made for so I actually cut out the thread that I need to use I hang it over here on the side and that way I won't have to like roll it back on the bobbin it's, so I think it's a really good idea the only thing is that I wish these organizers would have came you know more eliminated so they won't get ruined because it can be ripped 
and that's too bad so yeah so these are all the colors that I used um, I have a couple more on the other organizer and I think that it's going pretty well now what time is it for me right now it's 11 o'clock so it's almost time to go to bed because tomorrow is work again yay um so i don't know maybe i'll keep stitching it a little more tonight maybe not we'll see i i don't know because i wanted to like do something on my computer so we'll see but yeah i'll be back with you in a couple of seconds but maybe for me in a couple of days for another update yay i'll see you soon so yeah today is friday um this is today is the 30 first of march i think yeah the 31st so it's the end of the month it's the end of the week and it's the end of this week's project so um i think i've made a pretty good job on it i have no idea how many stitches i've done that's the problem stitching without saga i don't know if you guys have any way of counting your um your crosses when you're stitching from paper maybe when it's 10 by 10 um you know square you can actually know how many crosses you've stitched in the you know in that square but um all together it's kind of difficult to follow up so i have no idea how many stitches i've done i am surely surely have been I'm surely <laughs> i'm sure that i have been uh stitching more than uh, a thousand crosses that's for sure uh, but i have no idea how many but this is what i have um i think i've made a pretty good progress with this look this is the chart i have been using this marker to do the you know marking <laughs> but i have bought this little bunch today and this is going to help me you know seeing how much I of a difference I guess I've made during one week to the other I mean that next week I've been I will be stitching this I will be using a different color that way I'll be able to see if this week was more stitching the next week will be uh, less or more so I don't know if I'm making any sense but this is what I have this is a new thing I also have two packages that came in the mail for me so that's something I'm going to show you right now and next week we will not be spinning a roulette again because unexpectedly I have decided to do another start this week so is this this month is the month of starts <laughs> I guess so it's a good thing I'm, I'm loving it I'm loving every moment of it I am not regretting starting anything plus I'm thinking that this whole idea with spinning a roulette for like one week stitching the same project is the best idea for me right now because I am kind of tr I am working on the same project and i am seeing results so this result is something that would never have happened if i would have stitched this for like two days and then changed it to something different so this is finished this week's uh project i can't show you that i am keeping this what's wrong with the focus i need to change my phone again Anyways, I can show you that this project is, can I take out the main page? Because that's the question. It's a little difficult doing when you are, hold, when you are holding your phone with one hand and doing this with the other. There, I think, I think I got it, I got it, okay. So, what have I done? This is... The area that I've been stitching there you go you can see the difference so what do we have here so I think this is the beginning of the boat the first boat or gondola how do you call these I think gondolas or something like that so I have this little area I still didn't reach the uh, birdies over here I think they're supposed to be somewhere around this area but they're coming they're coming so this is over for this week it's enough i have showed you the organizers i'm loving the organizers i love this kind of organizers for my projects uh this is the whole 
thing I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to show you something really fun now the new shopping that I have received I got some things in the mail I went specially to this morning early in the morning to pick up my packages it actually um, ended up being three packages because one of them was combined from Aliexpress I will show you what I got from Aliexpress and the other one from Aliexpress I cannot show because it's on my head right now I actually ordered a heatless curling thingy so maybe I'll make um, you know a video about that one day but what I've received at least one of the things that I received is this so I ordered the missing colors for my heaven and earth these are the three colors that I've been missing so I need to put them on my organizers and yeah so this is something that's going in my heaven and earth design uh, what else did I receive I will start with something that I'm not going to touch it's just going on a stash so this is it this was the lettuce stitch kit this is from Lucas as well by the way um, in association with Lucas I mean they're kind of a daughter company I think I guess anyways this was one of the kits that I was asking you about in the survey which one I should start this is New York and I have started Venice the one that I've showed you a second ago so I was wondering if I should go with this one or with the New York one and I you guys tell told me <laughs> you said that you would prefer me to start with the um, with the Venice one I'm all mixed up but I love the colors in this one this has many different colors like look at this so many lights people walking around Look at this this is beautiful this is going to be um, a fun project to stitch but not now this is going to my little stash now what I am going to do I think that you if you have been following my channel you probably know about this project because I have been stitching it before I've started stitching it before and I've been stitching it on uh, counted uh, printed canvas this was a kit from Aliexpress and I I love the design I actually have seen the design before on one of the Russian channels that I've been following one of the stitchers she's been stitching this and she is pretty progressed with that pro project and I can definitely say that that one is so so beautiful so basically um, I um, something happened to that project that doesn't really matter what but I ended up throwing it away along with the, all the threads and stuff I kind of went crazy about something and <laughs> that was a while ago that's a long time ago and that was the finish <laughs> of that project but um, I've been watching her stitch that project lately and I've decided to reorder it and start it all over again why just because I want to just because it's an easy stitch just because I do have that chart on my saga actually and I am going to use saga for stitching it and it's going to take less time than using uh, you know not so uncomfortable um, you know printed version so what I'm talking about is this this is Emberline Emberline Emberlight from Joy Sunday Cross Stitch. You probably all are familiar with this company. Um, I can definitely say that the preview is not that good, but it's perfect for this, uh, you know, design. So, what? I don't I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> Anyways, it's good, but it is not showing the, you know, the real result. So what I'm going to do is open this kit and show you what's inside I'm going to use a larger Q-snap to do this I still need to uh, figure out uh, how I'm going to do this because the chart that I have on Saga has different uh, num how do how do I say this the numbers of the threads are different than they are on the in the kit itself 
it's weird so what i'm going to do i will tell you in a couple of minutes but let's just open this kit and i will be able to show you what uh what we have here so i've taken it out of the bag because it's really shiny uh it's actually a ziploc bag so it's making a lot of noise but first thing that fell out of it was this little baggie. You always get some kind of a gift when you buy kits from AliExpress. Now this one is weird. Um, they always give you, well not always, but a lot of the times, they give you these little bobbins. I guess it's made so you can kind of see them and buy more of them, I guess. I don't know what's the point of them because what will two bobbins give me? I have no idea. I have no idea. These little thingies I actually do like, but I never use them. So thank you for the gift anyways. So let's just see what's inside this kit. Um, I don't think that I will be renewing somebody's idea of uh, Joy Sunday uh, projects, projects, kits. Yes, kids. But let's just review it. Now, it is Joy Sunday cross stitch. It contains cotton fabric, cotton thread, needles, and instructions. The name of this project is the Ember Light. And it, this is 14 count. Uh, wait a minute. This is 14 count stitched with two strands on uh, 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 14 count. Yeah. Uh, one. 103 by 52 centimeters sized which is not a small project this is a really big one and there we have the little booklet the whole you know book of I, I kind of I had a little um, message come in so I, I lost my train of thought anyways um, we get this booklet of the chart I am going to use this along with the digital chart that I have. Why? Because the symbols, I will show you something. The symbols on this are different than the symbols that you get in my, I get, I guess, in Saga. Let's just see Saga. Uh, let's open Saga. And you will be able to see, this is Ember Light, actually uh erased all, all the progresses that i've made in this one so you can i will enlarge this you can see that this symbol like let's start with the zeroed one this symbol is a little circle come on focus on this this is a little circle now it says here that the number of the thread is 0909 which is I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh nine, oh nine. I don't know. It's number. Where is this? Where is this? This is this is it. Oh nine, oh nine. Number sixty-seven. Now on Saga, you can uh, change the index for index numbers organizations or the thread palette. Now the program doesn't recognize the type of thread that we are using in this project so it doesn't give us the numbers of the threads in the right way so if I'll just do this then it will just give me the numeration over here number 67 now in the organizers number 67 is something totally different so it's really mixed up and in this chart the paper chart the sample you can see, I guess, that the symbol over here is different than it is on Saga. So it's really, you know, it's kind of confusing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the chart to see what symbol so I can use the same thread uh, from the organizers. And then I'm going to go to Saga, choose the symbol, and that we have on Saga and kind of compare it to one another and that and just write down the number of Saga on the organizers. I don't know if I have been making sense with all of this. <laughs> you know, by now I have an idea what I want to do, but 
I will show it to you when I'll start working on it. So we'll just put this aside. Now the fabric uh, that we get in cross stitch from, you know, AliExpress from China, whatever, uh, is pretty, you know, stiff. But this is 14 count. I chose the smallest count that they can give you. This is a pretty big, uh, you know, fabric. But, you know. Anyways, let's move to something tastier. This is the organizers. These organizers are a little different than what I had before. But we have five organizers. Like one, two, three, four, five. I hope that I have enough thread over here because they usually give you more thread. But it seems like I don't have any extra bag. In here so maybe it will be enough I'm hoping that it will be enough I don't know I think that on 14 count you're supposed to be stitching with two strands um, I don't know I guess I was thinking I was thinking that maybe I'll try doing like a half cross stitch but then I'll have to use three strands, I think. I want to try it, actually. I want to try to do half cross. Did you ever try to do half cross on 14 count? And how many strands do you need in order to get a good coverage? I want to try it. We'll see how it goes. Um, but for now, I think that there's quite a lot of thread. Um, I do feel a little weird, but because they usually give you extra, like bag with threads in your kits. Maybe we don't need it over here. Well, I hope that we don't. Okay, anyways guys, this will be the new start for my next week, uh, you know, of stitching. I'm going to not spin the wheel again and I'm going to add this into my roulette uh, for you know future spinnings so yeah my time is almost out uh, my phone is counting back till this video will stop so I will put this together next video we'll see the start of this project and um, yeah so follow up give me thumbs up upgrade <laughs> you know the bell down below so you'll be notified when my next video comes out uh, write comments don't forget uh, you have all the info for my social media down below, my TikTok, Facebook group, um, visit it, subscribe, we'll have, uh, you know, time to be friends. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon, bye-bye.